Hi everyone, Ben from Clearview Accessories. Today we're going to demonstrate how we're going to change the indicators from our next gen mirror um, from category 5 to category 6. Alright, if you've got the mirrors and you want to get a GVM upgrade on your vehicle, uh, you can actually swap out the category 5 indicator with the category 6 indicator, uh, which we supply. Uh, so we're going to show and demonstrate how to do so in terms of swapping this out. So the next step is what we'd like to do is push the mirror forward, like so, just to get a bit of room, uh, easier to get access to the mirror. Uh, you'll need a reasonably sized flathead screwdriver. What you essentially want to do is press down on the bottom of the mirror, the top mirror, until it doesn't go any further. And over the top, you what you want to do is locate the two tabs on either side. So um, we'll start with the left and essentially pop like so. And then on the right hand side, you'll pop it like so, and then it should come off like that. Um, depending on the mirrors that you have on your vehicle, you may or may not have the heating elements. Um, some vehicles may have the blind spot wiring as well. In this case, it doesn't. This is just where it would sit. So most vehicles would either have a combination of those, or some may not even have it. So in this instance, you can uh, remove these heating elements, just like so. Okay, the next step, once you've got your top glass off and you've disconnected any wiring that's linked to the mirror, so for, our, for this demonstration, we've taken off the heater wires. You may have like a blind spot wire um, along with the, um, the element, so just remove that. Uh, the next step is to remove the three screws at the top. Um, what you'd want is a Phillips head screwdriver, or in our case, uh, we're cheating and using a drill. Next step, so once you've got the top glass off and taken those screws out, you want to locate the next two. So in this instance, you'll find one um, up top and one down here. And then on the driver's side, it'll be the opposite um, direction. So we'll start with pushing the mirror down as far as possible and essentially just That one, prop the glass up on an angle. Okay, so down low. We'll look at this screw, like so. And then what you should be able to do is remove, once you've got the five screws out, essentially you should be able to access the cover, like so. Now, there is one screw that holds in the indicator so you pop the mirror up like so, and you'll find it. So you locate the screw for the indicator. Okay. On the rear side of the mirror face, um, you'll notice that the wiring will be clipped in. So just take it out of the routing. So once you've got the indicator off, the category five indicator, you um, essentially push this. So what you want to do is uh, unbox your Category 6 indicator. And you'll get the film, just the protective film. So what you'll notice between the Category 5 and or the Cat 5 versus the Cat 6, you'll see the clear lens on the Cat 6. Uh, these will be a lot brighter than your Cat 5 indicators. So what you want to do next is connect the back of the Cat 6 indicator, um, same way that you took it off on the Cat 5, and just click it in like so. All right. And then what you want to do is take your mirror face and just slide the indicator till it's flush. Okay. Okay. So make sure you've got the wire, the heating wires that you took out. If you had any other wires, just make sure you've got them handy. Slide your mirror head back on, like so, just so it's in place. Um, what I like to do is essentially just start in reverse. So, to get access to the passenger side indicator, um, I normally tilt the mirror up and sort of just pry 
that to the side, do that bottom corner. Okay, and then once you've located it, just get it started. All right, then we'll locate the bottom screw. So we'll be going in reverse order. Give me. Locate your hole. That's it. Okay, so now you've buttoned up all five of the black screws and as well as the bottom silver screw for the indicator. Okay, so next steps is to just uh, put your wires back for your heating elements back in, like so. Okay, um, if you've got the blind spot, then you also just need to plug that back in if, you, if you've taken it out. Line your mirror up as so. Okay, and then what you want to do is evenly press until you hear a click, like so, and that's in. Okay. So now that's what would what it would look like on the car. So once you've buttoned everything up, put your mirrors on. Um, next step is to just test that everything's working. Just to recap, this demonstration is how you would change from a Cat 5 to a Cat 6 indicator. Now that all is working, we hope you enjoy your mirrors. We wish you safe travels along your journey. And thanks from the team at Clearview Accessories.